Hi, my name is Peej and welcome back to MoGraph Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these motion graphic transitions. These were inspired by Maze's tutorials about how to make them in After Effects, which will be linked down below. And now without further ado, let me not waste your time. First thing we're going to do is have our clips lined up, and then we're going to add transitions to them. So the first one, we're just going to add a slight scale in transition. And then the second one is going to be a slide transition. So let me do them right now. We do our slide, we're going to add a transform node. Since this clip is so long, I'm going to make my scale about half the length of this clip. And I'm going to zoom into about 2.5 and then our fix our spline. You can drag the node into the spline viewer just to view that specific node. And the way we're going to adjust this spline is by bending it like this and like this. Like that maybe. That works. We do the second half. The second part of the transition, we do the same thing. Add a transform node. I'm going to keyframe the zoom just like this and I'm gonna go about to 1.2 and I'm gonna have this starting value be about 0.8 because we don't have to worry about this seeing the edges because they're gonna be hidden by the motion graphics we're gonna put on top of them we can just put reflect on it if you want and then we're gonna change the spline and make a graph something like this a little less sharp and something nice and easy all right now I'm gonna do the slide Add another transform node. Let's keyframe this like this. And I'll go to the left. That should be fine. And mess with our spline. Let's do another ease in graft or ease out. Now we're gonna finish it off with the last one. Add a transform node. Keyframe the start. Keyframe the middle. Go over to back to the start and adjust it just like that. Fix our spline. Something like this. Maybe a little lighter up here. All right, now that we have our scales and slides, just like that, it's time to add the motion graphics. So what I'm gonna do is that you can either grab an adjustment clip or a fusion clip. I'm just gonna grab an adjustment clip out here this is 12 frames right now, so I'm going to make this a whole second. So I'm going to add 12 more frames there and then put it on here as well. So the first one we are doing is the scale inwards. And what we need to do is grab a merge node and then add a S ellipse, an S render, and a merge node. All right, so we're going to first animate our circle. Just like this, we can go into the S ellipse. I'm going to double click on the height, hit it to an equal sign so it becomes an expression, and link it to our width just like that. And we're going to have this go from zero to full, so let's go about 12. And I'm editing in a 1080 by 1080 ratio, so I only have to go to 10 or 8.8, .8, but if you're larger, you need to go to something like that. If you're in HD comp, you need to go to something like that. But since I'm only in 1080 by 1080, let's go 0 0.8, 0 0.8 will be fine. Then at the beginning, I'm going to keyframe it to zero. And then I'm going to change the spline to something like this. I know it looks weird, but this is how it's going to look. All right. Now what we're going to do is add another layer to it. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. And I'm actually going to use the same input and use it as a mask or a background node. So let's just put this into here. Make sure this is over here and I can change the color. Let's go like something blue like that. And I can connect it to our merge, but now it plays at the same time. So I'm gonna add a time speed node and put it in between here, just like that. And I'm going to put the delay to about five to six frames. Try five. All right. Let's see how this works. Just like that. All right. And the last thing we're going to do is add a mask. I can use the same shape that I have here for a mask as well. So I can just take this and connect it to the merge over here. Make a little pipe. Now I want to go into the merge and go to the settings over here. And apply mask, apply mask invert. 
it's gonna reverse the mass that it has here so it shows just the circle and i'm gonna put also put a time speed on it for a delay we want it to show the middle so the delay is going to be uh, 10 frames because i did five before so if i view everything now it shows up like that and you can see that the first six seconds of the transition is blue because we delayed the mask from appearing by six frames so the mask technically doesn't exist yet the way we can fix this is by going to the s render and up to the global in and out and making it appear six frames earlier by changing this value once we do that it will fix itself there will be no blue at the beginning and if we play it back in this page have your circle transition for the slide transition we're going to start exactly the way we did for the circle by adding a merge this time we're going to add a background and then connect it to up and we're going to add a transform i use the second transform and we change this to any color we want i'll do white for this time and we're just going to keyframe where we want this to be so we're going to start in the middle and we can go to each end and at the first first keyframe we're going to have it start from the right side it doesn't go past 0.5 so we're going to do around like 0.75 um, if you're working in a HD comp, you want to put it all the way to the max, but I'm working in a 1080 by 1080 comp, so it's just going to be just out of reach. We're going to go to the last keyframe and then 0.75, negative, goes over there. So you have something like that. Now I'm going to drag my keyframes in the spline viewer and then highlight everything, hit S, and I'm going to kind of make my spline graph like this, bring it like around 10 to 11 frames at bar and then something like this all right now what we're going to do is bring this up and we're actually going to copy these nodes and paste them on and merge them up again but instead of moving the keyframes this time we're going to time stretch them inside the keyframe stretcher so we're going to look at our keyframes that we have here and we're gonna highlight all, the key, all these keyframes and we're gonna go to the key time stretch right here. Click this and it creates a little box around where your keyframes are or which selected keyframes you had. And we're gonna delay this by 0.5. And instead of moving all the keyframes, this actually squishes the spline graph. So as you see, as I move this side, it moves just like that. And now if we see, it goes like that. Oh, let me change the color of the background. Just like that. And as we can see, it delays it just like that. It's very nice. And now I'm just going to do that again. Repeat the process. I'm going to copy these notes that we have here. Paste them. Connect them to the merge. Open it in the spline viewer. Highlight all these that we have here. And go to our time stretch I'm going to start this one at 10 frames and I forgot to change the color of the background all right now you can see there we go we have it just like that and maybe it's not 100% perfect but there's an easy way to fix that if we uh, go back in go like that and we add another transform and we zoom in slightly on everything let's see it will Bring these more to the outside be like 1.1 that's fine and then if we go back oh needs to be more than 1.1 and you still have that effect and it's still hidden and yeah there you go uh, i don't know why it's not playing back well but there's your slide there's your circle if it plays all right any more questions or suggestions on what I should do next time, please let me know down below. If you would like to join the Resolve AMV community discord, there's a link down below as well as my own server if you would like to check it out. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.